yours. Hi everyone. It is seven o'clock where you are. Just want to wish everyone an aloha from Maui. So we're actually only three o'clock here where I am, but so happy to have you on here. Just want to introduce myself. My name is Janice Yam and I am an Epicure ambassador out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and super excited to share Epicure. I love their products and I have been loving them for 15 plus years and I'm here to share one of our favorite cheat meals. Um, we like the ease of popping things in the oven really quick. So want to also welcome, I have a party going on right now um, with Louise and her friends. So if anyone is popping on here, just want to say hi to you and for everyone else who is joining me. My husband Gord is here and he is tracking because I can't see my little phone very well when I'm doing these demos. So say hi. I'd love to know where everybody is tuning in from. And if you have any questions, make sure you post them and I will or put them in the comments and I'll be sure to respond as quickly as I can. Gord will read them out as well so I can respond during live. So without further ado, what we are going to make, and I mentioned it was in my Epic box. If you caught a post of mine, I think I did last week, um, my Epic box came in and it is filled with all of our favorites. Like seriously, every single one of them in the box this time are ones that we really, really enjoy. But I decided since I was in Hawaii, I would make the tropical pineapple chicken. And if you caught my little reel, my reel a little earlier, it was just a funny because it's fresh pineapple. So you gotta make tropical pineapple chicken. And this was in my epic box. So what do we have to talk about? I'm gonna make this meal, but before I do, I just wanna talk a little bit about the cookware I'm gonna use because it is the game changer. So everybody knows I like my steamers, but I also love our pans and our pan liners. So here I am in Hawaii. I bring my cookware with me. Um, we bring the quarter sheets. So this is, we have a full size pan and liner and then we have the quarter sheet pans, which is like two of them. So we just bring the smaller one when we're on our holidays. So that's the pan I'm going to use. Completely forgot my utensils that were on my counter, so I didn't bring my four-in-one spice spoon. I forgot my saute spoon. I forgot my grip and grab. So I'm a little at a loss without all my little tools, but we have the traditional ones, so these always work as well. I did a little bit of chopping in advance because the knives in our suite here aren't very sharp, and it's also done on a glass cutting board, which is really loud and noisy. So. I'm going to show you quickly how to make this tropical pineapple chicken dinner. So I see lots of comments coming up. So thank you all for joining me. Um, I love sharing Epicure and I'm happy you're here. I wish you could be here for dinner and join us. Well, if you're in Maui, you can always give us a call. So <laughs> what we're going to do, I'm just going to open up the package that came in it. So these you can buy as a set of three for $11.50. Um, all the different ones. There's a number of, if you're thinking sheet pan meals, if you like the ones where you just mix, throw in the oven and enjoy, there's a number of them. There's like the souvlaki, which used to be in a jar. You just mix it up with your chicken and your vegetables or whatever meat you want, and throw it in the oven. There's the sweet garlic chicken, which again is a sweeter one. They suggest um, sweet potato in your chicken. Any vegetables work. Um, the crispy and crunchy coating mix, that's a good one. Makes everything crunchy, I, that came in my Epic box as well. And it's good for on vegetables or on like chicken and making fingers and things like that. That's good. Um, what's the other one that comes in? There's another one that we, oh, Philly, <laughs> Philly style cheesecake. That's the other sheet pan meal. And again, all these are just seasonings. So if you don't want to do it in your oven, or you happen to be somewhere that doesn't have an oven, you can always do things with these seasonings, but on the on the stove. So like this seasoning could have easily been done in a saute pan and enjoyed that way. So here we have, I cut up the chicken in advance just so I wouldn't have to be washing my hands all the time. And I threw it in a bowl. I cut up a little bit of a red onion. So I'm gonna throw that in the bowl. Can you see that? I'm gonna just put that here just so you can see. 
we have an orange pepper. And I am going to do a little chopping because I think this tip, and if you've watched me before, you know it's a tip I share all the time. If you're cutting up a pepper, I've already washed it, a couple quick cuts and then you can make it into whatever shape you would like. So if you can see this, I'm going to put that over there. We're just going to cut off the top, cut it close to the top, and then what you do is you just pull it all off. And there's your pepper, and all you have is this little piece that's going to be discarded. You're going to do the same thing on the other end. And then you'll just see all there is is just this little bit on the inside. I'm going to just cut it in like this. I'm going to pop that out, but again, so this is the only bit that's going to get thrown away or composted at home. And then you're just left with all pepper, so you're not throwing any away of the lovely vegetables. And the beauty of this is, is you now have a steak. So you could grill this if you want like a nice steak. You could have left the bottom on and just popped off the top and filled it, stuffed it with rice and seasonings and stuff like that. But in our case here, we're just gonna cut this into strips. And I apologize for the noise on the glass cutting board and the seesaw <laughs> cutting. We're gonna just throw that in here. We're gonna throw that in the bowl, which I think is probably off screen now. And the reason why I decided to do the tropical pineapple was because we can do fresh pineapple here. Um, this recipe actually calls, and I'm just using the recipe that's on the back here, it actually calls for boneless chicken fillets. I just bought a breast and cut it into fillets. A sliced bell pepper, we're throwing in two, um, a red onion and sugar snap peas. We went to three stores here in Maui, no sugar snap peas to be found. That's okay, we're just gonna throw extra peppers in. <laughs> I throw in Brussels sprouts, but Gord doesn't really like those very much, so. But any vegetables you have, that's the beauty. We're not stuck with what's on the recipe. If you don't like chicken, don't use chicken. If you like beef, or you like tofu, or you like chickpeas, whatever you like, throw it in there. So we just have a big old bowl full of chicken and vegetables. <laughs> Aloha, look at this pineapple, it's so good. So normally you would have the juice that goes in it, but this is gonna be good. I'm not too worried about it. It actually, you can see the juice is coming out of the pineapple already. So we're just gonna pop that in there. I probably did not grab a big enough bowl to mix this in. So this is the beauty of a sheet pan meal. Grab your protein, grab whatever vegetables you have, Grab your seasoning. This is our seasoning. And it even says on here, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. At home, I have the coconut oil in a bottle, but when I'm on holidays, we just buy like a small little bottle of olive oil. So that's all I'm gonna use. It's just a little drizzle of olive oil. And again, I forgot my four in one spice spoon, so I'm just gonna doo -doo -doo. put that on there. About two tablespoons. And we are just going to cut open my package. Has anybody tried this on here? I'd love to hear if you've tried it and what your thoughts were. Um, I, I think it's really delicious. But part of it is probably the pineapple. And this is way too small. So I'm gonna try a pot. <laughs> we're gonna use a big pot to stir this in because it's just too big. Patricia made it, and so she... Oh! Really oh, sorry. She really liked it. Awesome! And I'm glad to have you on here, Patricia. Patricia and I just met last week, so I'm very excited to have you join me tonight. Glad you enjoyed it. And so now it's going to be a little harder. I chose a clear bowl so you could see it, but all we're going to do is we're going to season this, and we're going to stir this up so the seasoning gets on everything. And you can already smell the flavors. Again, I always just wish there was such a thing as smell-o-vision because I think it's all about food and the smell. So, 
while I'm just stirring this up, I'll just mention if you have received my newsletter, I sent it out yesterday, there is a customer special going on this month that if you spend $75 or more, you get to choose a free seasoning. So you can choose a chili seasoning, a vegetable seasoning, or our creamy dill popcorn seasoning, which was new just last fall in the winter. So. Oh, Abby this. said she missed the name of the seasoning that you were using. Oh, I am using, thanks for asking, Patty. I'm using the Tropical Pineapple Chicken Meal Solution Package. So it's just pour it on there. This would be great for when you go to Jamaica because you guys got all that fresh fruit there as well. So, And there we go. That's a sheet pan meal. You could even, if you wanted, put it onto your pan and stir it on there and even save yourself one dish. But I'm going to just pop that on the pan, spread it out, and I apologize that I wasn't able to cut everything and sort of do a longer demo with you. It's just we are tied to the resources I have here in Hawaii, and they just are not very sharp. So I would have been sawing away at that pineapple <laughs> for quite a while with you guys. Okay. I'm going to just show you that and I will take a picture because you don't need to sit on the video while I do this but hopefully you guys have said hi because I've decided um, what I'd love to do is share this package with one of you so I'm going to do a draw with everybody who has popped on here my husband has been capturing that and he'll pop on here in a moment just to clearly my quarter sheet pan is not big enough for this well, it's because it's a full meal so each of our meal solutions I should mention Heats like four to six people. So on average, most of our meals cost you about three to five dollars per serving. So how amazing is that? Way better than fast food. I had posted, who goes? I don't have time. We have time. Look at that. That's going to go in the oven. We didn't buy rice. We forgot rice. We forgot macaroni. So we have to go back to the grocery store. But we're just going to make like a little green salad that's going to go with this when it pops out of the oven. So let's take a peek. I followed this, just set in a large bowl, mix everything, toss until well coated, arrange in a single layer on a lined sheet pan. And if you don't have one of the sheet liners, that's okay. Do it however you normally do it. The sheet pan liner just makes it super easy for cleanup. Um, and we're just going to pop it in a preheated oven, which I put on at 425 for 16 minutes. There we go. We have a meal. Can you believe it? And this came in my Epic box. So if you haven't heard of the Epic Box, let me just tell you, I'll just tell you. $35, it's our subscription program. So it'll drop on your doorstep at the beginning of the month with a selection of these packages. So you'll have eight meal solutions, a dessert and a dip mix. So eight meals, that's not just eight meals, that's 32 to 48 servings. So it's a lot for $35, then you just add whatever your favorite protein is, whatever your favorite vegetables are, mix it all up and enjoy it. So I'm gonna call Gord up here. He's been capturing everybody on the spinning wheel to do a draw. Obviously I won't be sending it here from Maui, but when I get home, I will pop it in the mail to you. Just wanna say again, a big thank you for joining me tonight. I'm gonna to actually pop this in the oven so I don't have to wait. We'll just have to do two shifts of it because we only have the one pan. Um, but that's our tropical pineapple aloha dinner from Maui. And I'm so thankful for you guys being here. And I'm going to call Gord up. Here he comes with the spinning wheel. Good luck, everyone. You got everybody in there? Okay. He's coming on up. Hi, everybody. So I've got most of everybody's names. If you said hello, I've got your name in here. If you didn't say hello, then unfortunately I didn't catch you, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. I am going to spin it and we'll see who wins. And we have Darlene. Darlene. Congratulations, Darlene. I'm sure you probably won't even make it up like this. And I would love to hear how you're gonna make it into something Darlene-ized, um, just because you're a fabulous cook. If you have any questions at all, I'd love to tell you more. 
Um, if you want to know more about specials or if there's a meal solution that you're interested in and not too sure, um, let me know. Any questions you have, I'm always available. I love Epicure. I love you guys. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me this evening. Bye.